Welcome back to another edition. Eat my shorts right here at the ranch here. Smoking me with passes for a lucky strike until payday. Sorting the world's problems out. One slow inhale to a time. Well, I've had one of those nights. Uh, after my mother turned into a raving goddamn psychopath. And made me do something that I knew was going to hurt my neck. And I explained to her, it's like, I don't want to do it today. Because I'm going to be having muscle spasms all night if I have to do this. Didn't care. And because of that, I didn't get to sleep till well after 1 o'clock in the morning. Every time I lay down to get comfortable, I'd have a spack spasm so hard it'd knock me out of the chair I sleep in. You can imagine that. And you, you have a few hours of this shit, and you have time to stew and contemplate your revenge. And I'll have my revenge. <clears throat> Which kind of leads me to the morning rant here. <sighs> you know, for years, you know... Putin, or rather Klaus Schwab, <coughs> has said, uh, you know, Vladimir Putin, your days are numbered. Well, let's deep dive into this here a little bit, because I think there's something to this. Uh, Salty Cracker brought up the point that, that all of a sudden Putin threatened Klaus Schwab, and there's something to that. Now, Klaus Schwab is a, um, how shall I put this, uh, well, he's Jewish. And uh, his family hid him out with a pro-Nazi party family. <clears throat> and he rose to the top of the <coughs> world finance market by being a dirty, greasy, fucking no-good communist scumbag. And he survived communism, too. <coughs> you know, he's a survivor because he's a cockroach. You know, he's got to be pert close to 100 years old by now. And he's been poking the bear with Vladimir Putin for a long fucking time. And Vlad's kept his mouth shut for the most part. Now all of a sudden, when Vladimir Putin says your days are numbered, that's something I'd pay attention to. Like, I'd be like the Clinton family sending you a get well soon card. Like, that is just something that... Uh, you're going to want some pretty good armed security and uh, to make you peace with Jesus. See, because when people cross Vladimir Putin, they have this weird habit of just falling out a window all of a sudden. Or, you know, uh, writing their own suicide note and having, having uh, less than natural causes of death, you know. Like, like, out of the two people that I would be afraid of in this equation, like if Kalash Schwab said, your days are numbered, uh, I'd say, why don't you just blow me? If Vladimir Putin said my days were numbered, I would be real fucking nervous. Because he's somebody who's former KGB and uh, actually fairly physically capable as a man. Uh, a lot of world leaders aren't physically capable. I'd put Vladimir Putin in a fist fight with just about any fucking world leader we have right now, and I'd put my money even on Vlad. Like, the dude is a beast of a man, and uh, he, he behaves like a savage, and the Russians have a pretty nasty history of being pretty fucking brutal and pretty thug-like. A lot of the Russians I met that I used to work with in my old life, uh, they were good people, but if you crossed them the wrong way, it was not a good place to be in life. And you would regret your life choices if you lived long enough to do it. <sighs> you know, and I'm not saying something's going to happen, but, like, if it does, I will go dancing naked through the fucking streets that uh, good old Klaus Schwab got his ass murked. Have you ever noticed all these evil cunts live such fucking abnormally long lives? It's like even hell doesn't want them back. You know, like the old... Ruth Gator Binsberg and fucking Diane Feinstein. Like, these people live to be like a hundred fucking years old. Meanwhile, common men in my family, you know, we die by the time we're 60, if we're lucky. I think my dad was the older one in the family, as far as men go. I think his brother lived a bit longer, and Uncle Blake's probably going to live to be the oldest of all of us. <sighs> I want you to take that into consideration, though. You know, everybody's pumping out all this pro-Ukraine bullshit. You remember, Ukraine started this war in 2014. When part of Ukraine said, no, we don't want to be Ukraine anymore. And Ukraine said, yes, you're going to be. And then there, there was shelling for, like, 
I don't know, six years, eight years, or whatever it was until, uh, you know, then everybody, oh my god, Russia invaded. Well, yeah, you're not getting the whole story, man. And nobody's right in this conflict. Nobody ever is in any conflict. <clears throat> Every conflict on planet Earth, both sides have behaved poorly and made bad decisions, and that's why they're going to duke it out. And to the victor goes the spoils. And the loser gets their name written in the history book. Wrong, you know? And that's just the way it goes. <sighs> but yeah, when Vladimir Putin threatens somebody, like, says your days are numbered, like, that would fucking, that would make my asshole pucker. I'm not gonna lie about it, like, <clears throat> he's one of the few world leaders that is actually capable of doing the shit. And, uh, yeah. So hopefully, uh, you know, Daddy Klaus falls out a window here pretty soon or has a fucking stroke because uh, I'd love to see that sometime in my lifetime. As always, noisy apartment noises, screaming pecker birds, fucking trains being trains, and me hacking my guts out. It's time to have more coffee and pretend to be an adult so I can show you today. <coughs> the new shower mat is, uh, well, it's great. Uh, I could actually stand in the shower and wash myself properly. The other one was so goddamn slippery. Uh, you know, I was thinking maybe it was a gift from the Clinton Foundation for my work in the uh, Second Amendment community. What the fuck do I know? But I'm sick of today already, and uh, I'm going to go and shove enough coffee in my pie hole and enough cigarettes on my face that I can pretend to be an adult and feed my crabby, spoiled-ass senior citizen of a mother and, you know, get everything done I need to do, so... As always, have a fantastic fucking Friday, and uh, until we meet again, I hope uh, Vladimir Putin packs Klaus Schwab a lunch, because he's going to fucking need it. <laughs>